Happy anniversary yesterday. Oh yeah, happy anniversary yesterday. You guys, we forgot that it was our anniversary. Jude, are you ready to help me pack? How many days do we have left? Today Hi. is Sunday. We can do anything. With you, I can do anything, babe. But we also have to pack suitcases because we cannot move right into our new home. Hey, John. Hey. Happy anniversary yesterday. Oh yeah, happy anniversary yesterday. You guys, we forgot that it was our anniversary. I told John I was mad at him and he couldn't figure out why. And then I said, because someone forgot our anniversary. And he was like, it's not today. And that was at like, what, 8 p.m., 9 p.m.? It was like, no, it was like five, but. In all fairness, I only knew because a friend texted and said, hey, happy anniversary. And I was like. That's how I knew, whenever she said it, I was like, you haven't been mad at me all day. So I knew that she I wasn't also had mad. forgotten. It was pretend she anger. Good morning. Good morning. Dude, how old are you now? Good morning. I'm And I got more headaches. Oh, how old were you when we started vlogging? Five. What is she a baby? Zero. That's not true. I was pregnant with Adeline, who is almost seven, seven years ago. She was one when we started vlogging. That's crazy. Y'all who've been here since the oh beginning, my gosh. comment. Comment below. You guys have seen Jude grow up. I mean, you've seen most of our girls grow up, but like, how big she is now. Back to our anniversary. I knew it was coming up, and I even knew the day. I just didn't know what day it was yesterday. Like, she's like, I knew our anniversary, June 25th. I, I even had mentioned my mom coming to stay that night so we could go out, and I just didn't realize yesterday was the 25th. I thought we were still like in the 25th. What he means is, I forgot our anniversary, but I don't want to say that I forgot. No, our anniversary. I remembered. What? <laughs> You're getting mad at him? Why are you getting mad at him? Because he's not coming with you? Jude, are you ready to help me pack? How many days do we have left? Five. Monday, Five. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and we move out Friday. So we have four days left to get packed. And we have how much to pack? Okay, we've got this stuff in the living room. These are empty boxes. So, well, yeah, that's empty too. These are all empty. Empty bins, empty boxes. So I've got this stuff to go through. These are kind of packed. These are like really breakable decorations. Put them all in one box, so smart. That stuff needs to get packed, but the kids are still kind of playing with it. Have not packed a thing in the kitchen. Dining room table needs to be taken apart. The stuff on it needs to get packed up. I don't know, the office is getting full of some stuff. There's like a little pile here, but the closet's empty. Okay, I'll take you upstairs and show you what we've got. It's actually a mess right now. Um, it shouldn't be, but it is. Bathrooms are packed. Third floor, totally packed, totally empty. Laundry room, we are still very much using. Washer and dryer, the couch in our loft. My favorite room in the house. The couch is gone. We sold it to a friend of ours, which is like special for them. Easier for us, we don't have to move it. Uh, but this was my favorite room, so it's really sad to see it empty. But it's full of laundry, clean laundry that we have to fold, and then all of the kids' bins. We are going to fold and put their clothes away, and then just pack the bins with their clothes. Brilliant, right? But we also have to pack suitcases because we cannot move right into our new home. We are gonna be in an interim space for about five days, <laughs> so we need to like, pack twice. Pack for those five days and then pack what we're moving into the house. All of John's music stuff is here, packed and ready to go. This is hilarious. Okay, we've got Adam's room. Everybody's napping. Stay there. Oh, sweet. I was wondering why the door was locked. She woke up really early and was really grumpy, so she's taking a nap, that's really sweet. There's just a bed and a dresser in there, essentially. We moved all the kids' mattresses into it's here. So it is a big room of mattresses. They've just all been sleeping in here together. We will throw all the blankets into one box. And we have to go sleep. <laughs> They are having a blast, but they've been watching movies on the projector at night. It's like really special. They have a big screen there. They all lay down um, in here. Whew. This is the only toy that's still left out, which is the worst one. 
probably Legos. Y'all need to clean these up today. And then these things are already packed. We just need to take them downstairs. I gotta pack this closet still. This stuff needs to go downstairs. And then our bedroom, which is just a mess right now. I have boxes, but I haven't really packed anything. So our closet, bathroom, all of this needs to get packed up. So my plan is today to knock out as much as possible and hopefully finish tomorrow with the packing of the bulk of things. And then we can maybe have a couple days to just relax, maybe see some friends before we head out. We've just been so busy, it feels like it's been non-stop, but we gotta get as much done as we can this afternoon, the morning's pretty much gone. And then, um, yeah, hopefully these kids go to bed at a decent hour tonight. They have been passing out and sleeping in way later, and I don't know if it's just the fullness of the days and the, the energy of moving and hustle. I don't really know why, but I will take it. I don't have an anniversary gift for you. I'm, well, I know that. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Oh, wow. Okay, you love to grill. Don't even pretend you don't. He's got two grills because he likes to grill so much. Look at this. Won't that make it easier? Then we don't always need skewers. You could do the veggies like right. Oh yeah, that's nice. Look at that. But yeah, zucchini boats. Boats. We always talk about, you guys know, we talk, so we love good. zucchini boats. But even all of the veggies that we make, without having to skewer them all, that takes so long. Yeah, One, those were $4 off at Costco. But two, we make kebabs a lot. Like, it's just a, I would say quick, easy. It's a very easy dinner. But it's not quick because you have to skewer and it takes so long. So that is gonna eliminate the skewering. All right, we got Costco. So now we gotta get the groceries up, get the kitchen cleaned up. I gotta pack some stuff. Can we do it? Do you want me to bring all this in? Yeah. Sure. We, do this, we, this, 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 we gotta do both. Can we do it? We can do anything. We can do anything. With you, I can do anything, babe. I want to That's your anniversary gift. Thank you. Go ahead, show everybody what you got, Mary. What'd you, what'd you get? I got these honey suckers. Honey suckers. Honey suckers. Honey suckers. Honey suckers. Honey suckers. You don't like them? You don't like them? I don't know what it is. It's celery. Yeah. Celery sticks. Celery sticks. What are those for? I don't know. What do you make? What do we make with those? Um, we, make, we make peanut butter and jelly foam. We wrap them up. We put bananas okay. on it. Kind yeah. Of. What but else do we make? We make tacos and enchiladas and yeah. burritos. Yeah, we make tacos with this. And we have guacamole. We got guacamole here. Green cheese. Green cheese. This is my favorite. We love the fries. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Daddy O Johnny O. This is my kitchen. Welcome to here. First, take your tortilla. Yummy. We could already just roll this up, and that'd be a perfect meal by itself. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some avocado mash. Then we're gonna slice up some strawberries. Mmm. Put a layer of cheese, then some banana, then some mayonnaise, ketchup and mustard, and some green peppers to top it off. And we're gonna roll it up, and it's gonna be the best. Check it out. Are you really doing that? No. Oh, and for the girls, I'm gonna put some turkey and turkey pepperoni on there. Did you like turkey? No. <gasps> Miss, do you like turkey? No. Ooh, you know what just gave me an idea? I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna top off these tortillas I with, I was the peppers, but then I'm gonna change my mind and do peppers, top off the peppers with some coffee grounds. Mmm, mm. coffee grounds for that extra boost of energy. Strawberries and cheese. 
berries lettuce. and bananas and ketchup mustard and oh, lettuce. Yeah. Do some lettuce. Oh, you nice. Yeah. Did we go to the monster restaurant? Another word from the customer. Do you feel like maybe he's poisoning your food since he also makes food for monsters? Well, I'm not sure if those are worms or not that he's sprinkling on there. We need your daddy need a Oh, sorry. I had my face on for my monster customers. Yes. People always, lots of famous people always come into my restaurant and write books and make movies and all kinds of stuff. It's just the kind of place I run, you know. And now, say goodbye. Ooh, these are kind of tasty. Johnny. Wait, John. but it's tasty. I told you, I only serve the finest food here.